I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. Each of us is required to speak one of the laws when we hold our ceremonies. I say the first law. Feast not on the flesh, consume only the blood. This is our strength. I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon, like he did for all of us. Well, I guess so. You seem like a pretty nice guy. Vance will have my butt in a sling if he finds out. But let me give you the password to his room. Like I said, he's in isolation. It's his time to meditate and reflect. It was good talking to you. pretty close and he's beginning to talk to me, so I, I think it's a good sign. What do you want? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. Home? I don't have a home anymore. I made sure of that, didn't I? Of course it matters. The past is what's keeping me up at night. That night is like a bad dream. I can see parts of it, but I don't remember what happened. It was the fucking hunger. That thing that's haunted me my entire life. There's something inside me. Something completely messed up. I'm a mutant. A fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? You know, for a second there, you sounded just like Vance. And you're right. I don't know what I'm running away from, but given time, maybe things can go back to the way they used to be. Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back.
that you decided to speak to Ian regardless of my warnings. Be that as it may, I am still interested in what you conversed about. Did he come to a decision? It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. I wanted to thank you one last time for what you've done for me. My brain feels like less of a mess now. I think I may be seeing clearly for the first time in years. Don't worry about me. I've been through a lot, but I think I'm going to be okay. I suppose not. I was about ten years old, and I was playing with Lucy down under the overpass. We loved throwing rocks in the water. We saw some wastelander trying to break open the Brahmin pens and steal one of them, so I ran over and told him to stop. He just laughed and pushed me away. When I fell, suddenly my head started to hurt, and my eyes got all blurry. It was almost like I blacked out. Next thing I know, Lucy was pulling me off again. I had ripped his throat open with my teeth. She said I liked changed into another person that I even glared at her and raised my arms like I was going to kill her. The Wastelander took a swing at me with some kind of club. I turned around and jumped on him. I tore his throat open with my teeth. If he wouldn't have done that, Lucy may have been killed too. I just don't know. Lucy said Mom and Dad would never have understood. She told me to keep what I did a secret and that she'd try and help me. Thanks to Lucy, she was able to stop that from ever happening again for years. Every time I'd feel the hunger, she'd hold on to me and not let go. After a while, the hunger almost seemed to go away. I don't know, I really don't. I mean, I'm not totally dumb. I know they were in stories and all that. But who knows, maybe Vance is right and vampires were just people like us who learned to control their hunger and drink only blood. I mean, vampires are regarded as feared monsters instead of hunted animals like cannibals. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, okay. It actually kind of makes me feel better to talk about it. Go ahead. I wish I could answer that. I really do. I don't even remember it happening. When the hunger takes over, it's like being pushed aside like something else is controlling me. I can see what's happening, but can't close my eyes. I don't even remember exactly what happened until Vance knocked on the door. That's the weird thing. He has some sort of crazy sixth sense about him or something. Maybe all of our kind do. As soon as I was with the family, I really felt at home for the first time in my life. It's like all these people are my real brothers and sisters. I remember how long I sat there on the floor staring at my parents' bodies. It seemed like days I wanted to feed, to eat their flesh. But it was like a little bit of me was holding on. Then, out of nowhere, there was shouting outside and a knock at the door. I opened it, and it was Vance. He seemed to know exactly how I was feeling inside. He took me under his arm and we left. I never looked back. Vance told me later that he was basically covering for me and allowing the family to... to feed at the same time. Since my parents were already dead, they drank their blood and left the mark on the wall. He didn't want Evan to suspect that I had done it. The irony is, they were stalking our town to feed anyway. It's almost like Vance knew this would happen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, goodbye.
Here he is, the hero of the day. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. <laughs>